Mark, welcome to the Dr. Bob Show. Nice to be back. How common is sinus infection? Extremely common. In fact, about 30 million people a year have sinusitis in our country. So almost everybody gets a sinus infection at some time. You get a common cold, it goes into the sinuses. Most of them get well by themselves? Most acute bouts of rhinosinusitis resolve by themselves. Now you and say rhinosinusitis. What do you mean by that? Uh, so on TV we see sinusitis, but in medicine we talk about the combination of nasal or sinus infections. You know, the sinuses and the nose are actually separate. The sinuses drain into the nose, if you will. Um, and a lot of nasal infections or illnesses actually lead to secondary sinus infections. And so we group them together, nasal infection and sinus infections, and we call it rhinosinusitis, okay. rhinonasal sinusitis. Now, if it becomes, if it's acute, it's self-limited, that means it goes away on its own. Uh, what about chronic rhinosinusitis? Now, they're different entities totally. Acute rhinosinusitis is typically a viral uh, or bacterial infection, and most of those go away on their own. Sometimes you require an antibiotic if it's bacterial, but most of those are resolved fairly quickly. That's what the common person has. Now, chronic sinus disease is a total different entity, totally. Uh, those people tend to have some sort of immunologic problem that leads them to have swelling in the nose, blockage of the sinus passageways and secondary infections. So people who have allergy, uh, some people have actual immunologic uh, problems, immunodeficiencies, people who have uh, conditions like leukemia or lymphoma or on chemotherapy agents or diabetes, or those people that tend to have immune systems that are less than robust tend to are be predisposed to have chronic sinus infections.